special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The problem! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Ready? One started here, round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, effective strike there by Shore. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Big kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the judge. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Flush right hand is true. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Watch these to the body. Big kick lands. Big body kick. Big ball from West Land. Now we get back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Big head kick lands. Beautiful punch. Single collar tie here, and they separate. Ooh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, oh, too. The master of the transition. Nice scramble. And he landed the right hand there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch lands over the top. Leg kick. Attempts the front kick there. Ooh, what a head kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He lands flush with that right hand. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Doing great, okay? A lot more of the same. This guy can't do anything to you anywhere. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when he sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. And they separate. Nice punch by Choi. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Back and forth we go here. Placement there on the left hook counter. Wow, actually got the takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Choi. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Good stick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big knee there. these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Some nice back and forth action here. <laughs> Takedown defense holds up. Battle for position here. Nice 
nice strike. really on the ropes. His opponents are beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Unable to connect with the right hook. Slicing elbow lance from the clinch. Body shot now, but it's turned back by the Korean Super Bowl. Straight punch lands. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, strong uppercut for it there. That'll get his attention. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. How good is that right hand? Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. That's a big strike right there. Takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even as the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Throws the right hand there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. There's no tell on that leg kick. 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh man, he's got that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And they separate. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Chor. Misses with the left hook. Nice counter right hook there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, countered there with an uppercut, perfectly placed in time. Choi's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. All right, late in the fight now, he needs to see he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the first. Just misses there with the left. Oh, collar tie. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, tags him with the left, so the... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And they separate. Time winding down. Final seconds of the fight. Those punches to the body are really starting to take a toll. And he lands the knee to the body now. Right on my strikes. Right, 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 right. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Duhon Chong. All right, so there he is, the celebration.